Hello guys. So, it's been over a year and a half since I gave a tutorial on terrains in Godot and boy have I learned a lot on the best way to do terrains. So, we're going to change up how we did the terrains in the auto tiling tutorial. First, let's see why this is not the best. Firstly, instead of having these dirt, grass and sand, sand and grass, sand and water, la di da di da we are going to just have simple terrains. Dirt terrain, water terrain, sand terrain, simple. Another thing we're going to change is, as you can see, we have a water, ground, seeds, and cliffs layer. Um, we are actually going to merge this water and ground layer. It's going to be one ground layer. The seeds layer is going to be the environment layer, so it will hold the seeds, the trees, and all of that. And the cliffs layer will stay like that. So let me show you the new tile set. As you can see, we have different types of tile sets. Um, here is the old one. And the new one is going to look like this. We have all different co configurations of dirt, different configurations of, of grass, sand. And for now, we just have a simple water tile set. Alrighty, so let's get started. I am actually going to create a new scene. Uh, we'll have a 2D scene. I'm going to call this World 3 just to stick to what we've been doing. Again, we are using Godot 4.3 stable. You can see it right here. So instead of using a tile map, we're using tile map layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tile map node just to hold all the layers. And then I'm going to add a tile map layer. As we said, we're going to have a ground layer. Control D to duplicate. We're going to have an environment layer and we're going to have a cliff layer. We're gonna to focus today on this ground layer. So let's create a new tile set. And in this tile set, we want all of these templates. So I'm gonna just hold down control to grab all of them and drag them in here. We can automatically do it and it looks nice. Now we're gonna come in here, create a new terrain set. And this is gonna be water. A new one, this one's going to be sand. A new one, this one's going to be grass. A new one, and this is going to be dirt. So very simple. When we go into the terrains, this is how we're going to draw it. And it's going to be nice because we don't need to worry about going on the proper layer and not. And yes, remember, when you're choosing a color, you kind of want to choose a color that's distinct from uh, what you're drawing it on. So since sand is yellow, I'm going to avoid using yellow for this and I'm going to increase the brightness for grass. I'm just going to increase the, um, actually green is not the best one. Maybe we'll do a blue and for dirt and water that is okay. Alrighty, so now this is actually very simple. What we're going to do is when we see water, we are going to draw on the water. When we see grass, we're going to draw grass and let's just start. Uh, let's start with the, with the water. We're going to go paint, terrains, water, water. Now this is a long, tedious process. I'm going to activate all of the water tiles. There's not really any escaping it. We just need to do that same pattern. I'll put the pattern on the screen now. And there's no escaping this long, tedious process. I have a friend solar who's making a, a plugin hopefully that will make this um, faster but as of now you just gotta do this over and over and over again <laughs> we'll meet you i'll speed this up also make sure that this tile is not activated okay that is good so now we have a nice water if i draw it you'll see it is working. Um, test it out. You can see that our environment is too dark. If you want to really test it, we'll increase uh, basically project settings, rendering environment. You could change this color and now we could see it a lot better. Um, test it out just to make sure that, you know, you did it properly. So many times I've just messed up on this. Alrighty. So now where we have the water terrain activated, we also need to color in everywhere that there is water. So there's water in sand tile as well. I think it's best to do the sand tile first. 
And this is how we are going to do the water on sand. We basically go around, and actually this color is not bright enough. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. That will be the water color. And we are going to draw around. It's actually a lot easier if you just click the sand and do the sand part first. So we know that the sand is supposed to look like this. Cool. So now we finished the sand and now it's a lot easier to just come in and go around the edges. And that has to be the water. It's everything else. And basically, we're going to have to do this for every single um, terrain. So it is an extremely tedious process, but if you think about it in the long run, you're saving yourself a lot of time because you just got to do this once and then you are fine. So now this is basically, this is how you need to think about it. This is sand on water. Okay. So now if I grab this, you'll see we have the sand on water tile set. We don't have grass. I'm going to skip the grass on water because I want to go straight to grass on sand. So let's get our uh, grass. I'm going to just come in and do the grass, speed this section up, meet you when I'm done. Alrighty, so now we got to get the sand and go around it. Alrighty, so now we have this, it's kind of hard to see, but this is grass on sand that we have. So we're able to come in with our grass and draw it on sand, but we have not done grass on water. So if I come here and I try to draw the grass on the water, you'll see it tries to just use the sand on uh, the grass on sand terrain set. So you basically got to do all of that before you can do different configurations. And that's why uh, this might not be the best option, depending on your use case, because uh, this requires a lot of um, templates in order for it to work right off the bat. But once you have all of these, it does make your life a lot easier. If you had a lot less artwork, what you could do is you could basically just have this um, template type and you could put them all in different layers. So you could have water, sand, grass, and they could be like this with a uh, transparent background. And yeah, then you would need a lot less art. Let me just quickly do now this grass on water to show you that it now works. All right, speeding it up. Alrighty, we have finished the grass on water, and now we can draw the grass on the water. Cool. As you can see, we have pretty boring grass. What if we wanted some flowers onto the grass? Because we do have, you can see I put them off to the side. They actually don't have to be off to the side. Oh, actually, I accidentally painted them with the water terrain. So, there's two ways you could add um, the different grass variations. Um, if we look at the grass tile, this is actually the tile that's used when everything is surrounded by grass. So if we wanted, we could literally just put these in the middle and it will randomly choose which grass tile to use. Let's just to prove my point, let's just put this also in here save it and now you can see whenever there uh it's surrounded completely by grass because you can see here that's surrounded by grass it will use that or you could just come here and just paint in all the way here and then it will you know randomly choose which one to use you see it does it sometimes that might be the best way of doing it um but it's just to show you that this is the tile that it's choosing when everything is surrounded by grass and i just 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I messed. I completely messed up with these corners. You might see me. You might have seen me edited it <laughs> while I'm doing the terrains because I notice um, the problems with it. This corner um, needs to be all dirt. This cannot bleed into the other tile. This needs to be all dirt. And yeah, and that grass. Yeah, the the peculiar thing also is uh, as you can see here, grass on sand. There's no flowers. But let's just do big environments. Let's do some a big amount of um, sand. And we are gonna get some of that grass because it's not only using this for grass on water. It's also using all of them that are painted with this solid color grass tile. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna do all the sand tiles. This is gonna be a lot. <laughs> a, a large labor. Let's just let's just get it over with. So yeah, I'm gonna also just make sure that you don't have this as a tile, so I'm gonna delete that. Now I'm gonna do all the grass. And now I'm gonna do all the dirt. Oh my god, no more terrains. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fill in all the water ones now. I'm not doing good, guys. <laughs> okay, I think that was the, the last water. Now let's do all the grass ones. Guys, if you've made it this far, please... Oh, wait, what the flip? Okay, no, that's sand. Yeah, let's do all the sand ones. If you made it this far... Can you please just give me a like or give me a sub or just give me a comment saying, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I need. Guys, that wasn't sand. That was dirt. <laughs> I didn't do it again. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, guys, um. If you're if you're doing this like me, probably take a break right now. I am determined to finish this. But don't don't follow my lead. Don't do it all at once. Take a break. I take no accountability um for any mental breakdowns that happen while doing this. Okay. Okay, dirt. We're finishing the dirt ones. This is actually the grass. Please say I'm done. Please say I'm done. Okay, I think we're just missing dirt on sand. Hallelujah! Oh no, we're also missing dirt on grass. Still, hallelujah! All righty, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. So, if you've made it this far with your sanity intact, first of all, give yourself a pat on the back. Because that... That was crazy. Alright, let's do some big... We got sand on water. Let's just, you know, do some little things. Make sure it's working. Grass on water. We got dirt on water. And of course, guys, I did the most basic tile set. You can edit it if you want. Um, okay, we got grass on sand. We got grass. Oh, oh, oh. We got to look at our grass on dirt. Oh, this is actually here. Grass on dirt. Oh, you can see here I missed a big chunk. And this is why we check it. And I missed it here, 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 and there. And it's very hard to see. Um, the dirt color should be brighter. And I'm actually glad I made that mistake so you guys can see. If something is wrong, you have to look back and make sure you did not make any mistakes. And right now, now is kind of... 
sometimes it gets a little weird. It's looking pretty good now. Just gonna randomly click around. And we've also done dirt on grass. And we've done that, and we've done that, and we've done that. All right, let's try sand on grass. Let's try dirt on grass. Remember, check it. I'm gonna also check sand on grass a little more. Um, okay, so this is also another nuance to this. I do not know what to do about this, honestly. If you merge three terrain sets together, it doesn't really go well. And what I mean by that is if we have sand on grass and we are about to merge sand on gr sand, grass, and water, you see, it's kind of okay. Um, I'm a perfectionist, so I do not accept that. I don't know what to do about that. So that is just one nuance of this system. It works very well, but again, you cannot merge the three. So if anything, I don't know, put a big rock asset on there. But holy moly, guys, that is how you do some advanced tile sets. Look at all the tile rolls that we have done for it. That is amazing. Again, if you want to download um, all of these assets, you can go on my itch.io um, and download them there. Also, look at the project on GitHub. If you look at the branches, you see that there are the starting and ending. So we have episode 10. That's the start. I'm going to create another branch. And that way, if you go on GitHub, I'll publish this branch, you can see the status of the tutorial at the beginning of the episode and at the end. Um, so either if you want to do this yourself, if you're crazy, no, but also if you want practice, um, and then you could also see the end result. So also you could take a look at the GitHub branch. Thank you guys so much. This was probably a long one. I'm going to keep doing some more tutorials. I have some more things in mind. I've learned a lot through my project. Thank you so much for all the Patreons who have supported. Thank you so much. And thank you for the people who left a tip on the asset pack on itch. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go. See you guys next time. Bye.